Okay, so in this problem we have been given that one third of the length of the chain is hanging from the table. Mass M, length L. Now, table is a smooth, frictionless. You have to calculate the work that one has to do to pull the chain the entire length of it, of it on the table. You have to do it very slowly. The chain should not gain any kinetic energy. Now, spend some time with this problem. Think about it, how you should go. Try to get to an answer. Even if you are not able to, at least rub yourself with this problem and think from all the dimension how actually what other parameters given. Because we have studied only one formula and somehow you have to apply that. It shouldn't be very difficult for you. But still, even if you are not able to get to the answer, spend some time with it. It will help you. I am assuming that you have already did, you have already done what I told you to do. Now let's see how one would go about solving this. See the force that you have to apply that has to change because the force will not remain constant so you cannot directly use the formula. Because the force that you apply that would depend on the length of the chain which is hanging from the table. If you draw, try and draw the FBD and consider the chain to be like this. The chain, this part is on the table, this is hanging and I am considering it to be uniform. For the simple reason that the tension will remain uniform throughout the chain. Try and think of it as a rope. So this part which is not on the table, which is hanging from the table, if we draw the FBD of this part, tension will pull it upwards and Mg will pull it downwards. If it has to go very slow, these two forces should be balanced. Tension at all times should be equal to Mg, the mass of the hanging part. The hanging part length is decreasing, so the mass would also decrease, so tension should also decrease. Now this tension will be equal to the force that you apply. The force should also decrease. Now, for this kind of problem, you have to go for integration and the general approach is to write the formula, you write the expression of work done for any intermediary stage. So for any intermediary stage, let us consider that the length of the hanging section is x. So mass would be mass per unit length is m by l because total mass is m total length is l mass per unit length is l mass of any section is mass per unit length into length of that section in this case we are considering it to be x so this is the mass of the hanging part and this is the force applied by the earth so this should also be equal to tension and that should be also equal to the force that you are going to apply so work done by you is forced into small displacement. So small amount of work that you do in pulling a section of length x by a small distance dx. So that small amount of work will be equal to force in, into displacement, force into the small displacement. The force that would be is m by l g into x into dx. This is a small work that one has to do. So the total work would be integration of these small work. Summation basically. So M L G X D X. Now you have to think about the limit of this integration. The length of the chain is varying from L by 3 to 0. Because when the entire of the length is pulled up, the length which is hanging is 0. So the hanging part initially, the length of the hanging part is L by 3. Finally, the length of the hanging part is 0. But, see, uh, displacement and force, they are vector quantities. Work is force into displacement. Now, they have to be put with proper sign. Because uh, the force that we, have consider we are considering is in upward direction. The force which we apply in this part this part experiences it in upward direction. So considering upward direction to be positive, the displacement, this dx, will be negative. Because the length, dx is change in length, change in length of the hanging part. And change is always final minus initial. And the final length will be less than initial length because this hanging section is going to reduce. So the sign that dx will come with would be negative. So you have to add a minus sign here. That's it. Now you do the quantum integration. Bring m by l into g outside and integrate x dx. 
integration of x dx is easy, x squared by 2, put the limit, you will get the answer. And hopefully, you should have got the answer as mgl by 18. Okay?